This week we were asked to create a set of five steampunk theme nails from the sponsor It's So Easy. Steampunk is a growing trend that combines Victorian styles with industrial and modern styles. We were asked to think outside the box and use unconventional nail items. So here's the set that I came up with. For the base of each nail, I used a clear nail tip and coated it with base gel. After curing it, I added two coats of white gel polish. After curing both coats, I added a layer of a sheer champagne colored gel. Next, I wanted to add an antiqued look around the edge of the nails. So I used a brown gel polish and then faded it down the nail. These nails were supposed to be wearable, not fantasy, so I wanted to create a lot of dimension using different layers of product instead of building up high off the nail. After blending and blending, I finally got the effect I wanted, which was almost an aged paper look. I used one of these base nails to create my thumbnail design. I wanted to create a Victorian dressed woman with a steampunk vibe. So I carefully cut out an old photograph. I originally was going to hand paint her, but I wanted to think outside the box. To apply her to the nail, I patted some water onto the back of the photograph and then molded it onto the tacky layer of gel. I then added a layer of a thin viscosity gel and cured it. You want to work quickly when doing this step because the photograph may run. I then drilled a hole in the woman's stomach using my drill and added some gears that I got out of an old watch. I made it so that it could turn by adding another piece through on the other side. Since it was a black and white photograph, I decided to give her some red lips and I also added some gears to the brim of her hat. For my next nail, I wanted to show a mix of vintage and modern with an abstract design. I drilled a hole in the middle of the nail and then painted on a white swirl. I used white gel polish to do so. I filled in my swirl and then cured it. And I added a layer of top gel. I paste Savarsky crystals and gears and other metal pieces from the interior of the watches. After curing, here's my final design. This one has a spinning middle gear also. Gears look so pretty next to the crystals. For my middle nail, I decided to use a combination of sassy and sweet. So I used a thick gel and cured a piece of fishnet on my nail. I then top coated it with a thin viscosity gel and cured it. I then drilled off the excess fishnet and made sure the surface was smooth. After top coating, I wanted to add a hand painted element, so I hand painted some roses and vines to give it a sassy look. I then added some excess swatch hands and a crystal to finish the last layer. Here's my ring finger. I started by painting the nail with a clear gel, and then I used a brush and dotted on some metallic gold flakes. I faded it down the nail and then cured it. After top coating it, I added some slices of old newspaper. I dampened them and then pushed them onto the tacky layer. I then top coated them and to make my clock. I used white gel polish, black gel polish, and then added the numbers. Next, I'm going to add some old watch hands. I used a gold one and a silver one to give it an eclectic feel. And then added a Swarovski crystal to finish off the look. Two o'clock, guys. For my final nail, I decided to go with a Victorian versus industrial look. So I used a vintage cameo and I added it to the top of my nail with nail glue. Then I added some gel and added in some gears and crystals and some glitter and pretty much anything I could throw in there. Cameo was enough 3D, so I decided to encapsulate the rest of the nail. Nice and shiny. I hope you guys like my design and thank you to the judges. Follow me on Instagram.